Now we're back. About to wrap this is up. And, you know. emotions and especially how much they were preaching about revenge tour and they really want to get their lick back in a sense <laughs> they were able to do that it it's 5 54 p.m we got how the game started off i know that they were down we got but then six they, minutes they to the six to play and i was just super excited for that and i still am i love that you mentioned the way that things started because we've got happy memories now once we again i want to thank all of you, you for tuning in, in for these these uh this this limits basketball games well, there's women's college basketball games. And we'll also make a shout out to the Camila Cardoso for answering the WNBA draft. And that goes for Caitlin Clark and Angel Reese from LSU. Three of my favorite players. And yeah. So, it's 5.55 p.m. We got five minutes to six. Well, and our final score is 87 to 75.
So that's why I love what Coach Don Staley said to Caitlin Clark. A lot of people will say, is she the greatest of all time, y'all? She is the most impactful yeah, sure. player of our generation. And in some ways, that even matters more than all of that. Yeah, I mean, she completely changed the game. And we came in talking about Caitlin and her being the main focus. And then we talked about South Carolina and their depth and their team. And the one nugget, as I'm looking at this stat sheet, 37 bench points. Oh, yep, yeah. Zero for Iowa. It was a complete team effort on both ends for South Carolina to take down the monster that was Caitlin Clark. We do have that sound now for Caitlin Clark, so let's get that to you now. Yeah, it's certainly been a special year, and to be honest, like, after last year, I was kind of like, well, how do I top, how do we top? So I came to Clark, doing what we did my last favorite all-star player. Somehow, some way, every single person awesome. in our locker room believed. You played very honest, well. This year was probably more special than last year. Um, you know, the teams we had to go through to get to this point, um, you know, we won the Big Ten Tournament. Uh, we lost two players that were three-year starters for our program, and to be back in this position and... Um, and Gabby and Marshall I mean, and for the rest South of Carolina. my fair famous so team, I like y'all, y'all done great. <laughs> are great competitors out there. I heard Caitlin Clark just say, South Carolina is so good. There's only so much that you can do, Coach. You just got your And we're about to wrap this up. And now we have Coach Don. Yep, Coach Don Staley is on the call with us. Let's listen to what she has to say. And, and yeah. Like they don't flinch. Coach Don Staley. Like, and our team has won all three national titles. The gates because they were so loud and, and singing and doing their thing in the locker room. was like on another level, though. It was actually the level that they were at when we played at North Carolina. And we almost lost there, so it was kind of that. But I was like, let me just... Let me just stay out of it. Let them be who they are, and let's see what happens. And then they, they come out and get us in transition, and we had to make some adjustments. But I, I appreciate y'all for putting the pressure on us and having us win the national championship. I took that to heart. It, really did. <laughs> it, made, me, it made me nervous. Put a lot of pressure on Every us. Every single one of us had yes, you. Right. Right. Every single one of us had But when you have to face a team that you lost to last year, and one of the issues was perimeter shooting, how did you how did you change as a coach to be able to have the freedom now for your players to be able to play that inside-out game? I, 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 I would say this. Um, I'm going to give a lot of credit to Winston Gandy, our, our new assistant basketball coach who, who works with our, our perimeter players every single day. Like, sometimes I want to say, hey, hey, buddy, give him a break. <laughs> it's too much. It's too much. It's too much, right? And then he had the Iowa scout. And trust me, trust me. So after this goes off, and then I was like, he's going to tell them, tomorrow. He watched them and watched them and watched them. And watched them. He, it, it was so much information overload that I just kind of just let him talk. And luckily, we, we it's not going to be any signs.